more on the X axis. All right. As you can see, uh, my perspective view is not in there, and we got lost our 2D model. How to bring it to to the camera view? Just go ahead, right click on your perspective view, and now let's go ahead and click on the icon right here, which says Zoom Extends Selected. So if our cylinder is selected or any model is selected in 3D space, if you're gonna click on this icon, it's just going to bring uh, the camera in that viewport right on an object. If you want to get out from the object, you're going to click left mouse on this icon, hold it, it's more menu is going to come up, and you're going to click on this icon right here. You're going to zoom out automatically, but camera will be focused on that object, still be focused. If you want to zoom in, back, and select the lower icon, which says zoom extend selected. Alright, so we can see uh, our object that we're working currently. Alright, Go ahead and click on the modify and uh, make sure the cylinder is selected and slides. We don't want uh, 128, too many polys to working with or edges. And uh, as our reference image, we can see that we have seven fins. And so let's get back to our 3ds Max and we want to create a 14. 14 slides. Why 14 slides? Because we have 7 to work with and 7 which is going to be as our base and on our sites. So the next thing what I want to do, I want to go ahead and click on the cylinder, right click of my mouse button and select editable poly. Now it's editable poly so we can modify its shape as we already learned by watching this tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and scroll up this options to the top. And the next thing what we want to do, we want to select the um, polygons. So we are going to click on the polygon icon over here. It's going to get selected. And now we're going to use the Arbit Objects uh, Arbit Sub Object tool over here. Click on it. Kind of bring our camera something like so in our perspective view and start selecting the polygons you're gonna skip one then using orbit sub object tool rotate, rotate our camera view a little bit using the control button you're gonna hold the control button when you are going to select another polygon so it's going to select the multiple polygons and then you can release your control button and using the orbit a tool, this guy right here, sub object, rotate more, our camera view is again, you're rotating the camera view, not the 3D model. Um, our Arbit sub object tool, click on it, kind of rotate your camera and see what it, what it did. Kind of was cylinder, now it's a little bit squared, which is fine, but those polygons, they're kind of twisted as you can see. That's perfect. Now we can ex extend some uh, fins. Twist it like so, as you can see. Maybe let's go ahead and twist it a little bit more. Like on a reference image. Let's do 50, 60 degrees. Like so. 60 degrees are fine. We're going to go with 60 degrees. Okay, so we twist it now. So what are you going to do now? On the twist, you're going to twist modifier, you're going to click right button like I'm doing like so. And you're going to say collapse to. And it's going to bring you that blah 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 that you're not going to get back. You're going to say okay, you're going to say yes. So what it did, it just created the editable polygon into this ob um, funny uh, 2D model or object, 3D object. Now you want to go ahead and click on polygon button over here polygon icon and those polygons they're going to be automatically highlighted if not get back and make sure that on the twist mode a modifier you have your polygons highlighted like i did on my video okay and now what we want to do we want to extend or extrude we want to scroll down the options find the extrude 
over here option and what we're gonna do we're gonna click on the settings and what it does as you can see it's extrude the fence basically extrude those polygons and you can say by group by local by polygon use the by group option and extrude extrusion height use uh, about 100 too much let's use um, 50 you can see on our top viewport how big it is 50 is fine so it's kind of uh, like the whole uh, cylinder we extrude by about the same height as a cylinder uh, size okay going to go ahead and click OK something like so on my top viewport as you can see and then using the zoom tool in our perspective view zoom out just a little bit make sure that polygons are selected okay like so alright so what we're gonna do now now you will learn where's the tessellate uh, uh, option from the modifier how different it is and how to kinda smooth our uh, model to make it uh, smoother looking kinda organish looking so what I'm gonna do next uh, I'm going to get up in my option uh, option view over here to the top and under the polygon icon I'm going to double click on it make sure it's not selected my polygons are not selected anymore I'm going to go ahead and click on modifier list as again let me show it to you again I'm clicking over here on modifier list left mouse of my button scroll it down and finding the tessellate tessellate okay you can see our model get to the funny uh, kinda object we don't want that so you can using the orbit sub object tool in our perspective you can rotate your camera and see it's kinda funny so how to fix that uh, tension you wanna use the tension about 5 instead of 25 and you can see by controlling the tension you can control how it's going to tessellate by adding more polygons let's try maybe 7 and it's saying faces or the polygons you wanna select on the polygons as you can see when you're selecting on the polygons our polygons become more squarish instead of triangle and as I told you you want to kind of stay away from the triangle polygons you want to have our polygons more square so now we have more square polygons that's why you want to operate on polygons by about seven like so okay we're fine like now you can see now we're getting to the fan a nice uh, inside of the fan with the fins next thing what we want to do we want to maybe a little bit uh, smooth it before we're going to smooth it what you want to do you want to save this always save constantly save in 3ds max because as a beginner you can do something and you can crash the application try to save every single step that you're doing it doesn't take that much space click on the this guy right here save as click on the save as and just name it I'm going to name it PC uh, fan and um, fence whatever you want to name it going to click save it's going to take a few seconds and save it okay the next time what I want to do I want to smooth it I didn't save before but try to save constantly okay you just learn how to save it and try to make different files like PC fan 1, PC fan 2, PC fan 3, so you always can get back because 3D Max uh, crashing a lot especially when you're beginner you're not sure what you're doing and your machine is not too fast, your computer is not too fast this machine is very fast that's why it is like so, okay and uh, modifier list, click on modifier list and um, find mesh smooth this guy right here it's saying mesh smooth click on it you can see we smooth it a little bit and that just 
perfect that's what we're looking for we want to make it like this kind of fence don't worry about the base of the where we extruded of our cylinder it can be like this we're going to fix it later on and I'm going to show you we're going to just create another cylinder as we discussed and we're going to place it on, on into that um, uh, f fin fence fin fence okay let's have a look in our reference image yeah something like that we have a, just a little bit different but that's fine uh, we're not going to get into the completely details you can spend some time and uh, get completely details by moving the vertices we're not going to do so you're well, learning basic uh, polygon subdivision uh, methods today so you can create basic models and then you can go advance after that okay so that's fine I'm satisfied with that let's keep it like so the next thing what I'm going to do I'm going to click on create and select the cylinder click on the cylinder and over here in the center of our fan I'm going to create a cylinder like so about like so get out just a little bit out of that cylinder base and then get height make it a little bit bigger than our uh, cylinder of the fence fence and then using the select move tool and using my front viewport just kind of position it like uh, about like so then zoom in a little bit in our front view then using the pen view and zoom in again I'm using my third mouse button you can use this zoom uh, icon okay and using the select the move tool kinda put it like kinda well like so okay so let me demonstrate you something when you're going to move uh, your fence the cylinder